Hi, Teffel Dude here, and today I'm going to introduce you to the best digital interactive whiteboard software for use in maths or science or language or even business. If you use a digital whiteboard at work, you're going to want to use this. You can use this indefinitely, by the way. So hold on to your hats and let's take a look at this software. Now, once you open up the Starboard software, here it is. Notice there are two icons, Starboard software and maths tools. Now, you can see here the Starboard software, it may be in Chinese. It was when I installed it. Just click on the second icon down and the second icon across, and you can change the language to whichever one you want. Also, I moved the items, the document gallery here to the other side by clicking this button. Now remember, this is the newer version and the older version looks something like this. This is the older version and with the older version, you ended up with this starboard is not connected. Now you can use it indefinitely, as you can see here in the folder where I found the license. It says no expiration date, so you can use this indefinitely for sure. Now, that's why it's better to have the newer version. So when you do download, make sure you install the 10 version, not the nine version. Now for maths people, while you do have a little calculator here where you can get a protractor, all you can get is a protractor and the ruler. So it's much better to click on the maths tool and here, You've got lots and lots of things you can add. I There's just so many. I think as a maths teacher, you would just be uh, amazed about all the things it can do, like here. It can measure the degree and things like that. You've got timer tools, dices, coins. Definitely a lot of tools to engage students with. And if you need the help files, simply click here and you will end up with the help files in your language. Now, I just want to show you, before we install the board, I just want to show you some of the things we can do with Starboard. Here, you've got body parts. And I just copied this from the book. And I simply can move these words wherever I like. And you've got pages. You can go to the next page. You can color the pages. You can have funny things happen to the pages and you also have this um, tool which makes anagrams. In order to see it though you will have to go to the menu and the tools item go down to subject you've got maths language so you've got your anagrams and you can drag it to the top here like I did. So here are the anagrams let's choose um, a color And this one is blue. So it, like I say, if you have a digital board, you can simply do this. And that's quite fun. Also, you can make your own words up here. You can have your own uh, folders with your own vocabulary. That's quite good. There is one for sentences, but you would have to put everything in. And I think you can only use up to like five words. So it's not really that useful. So without further ado, let's go and find out how to install this software. Now, like I said, when you download it, you need to go to this website. I'll put the link in. Do not go to the one with EU because they want you to register and put your email which is free anyway, but here, make sure you download the bundled version because for some reason, the other version, the licensed version has a 60 day trial. Why you'd want that, I don't know because with the bundled version, it says you can use it indefinitely. And when you do, just simply download it and make sure you open the SBS 10.2, not the nine version. Also, if you want some tutorials, I'll put a link in the description. Here are the basic layout and also the maths 
and science tools here. If you need the actual uh, document, just click on Starboard Software Manual down here and you will get the manual. So let's go back to the top and download the bundled version. All you have to do is simply click download. Now it will ask you to log in or sign up, but you don't have to because at the bottom it says, or continue with download only. So that's what we'll do. Now you can see up here, it says it's 2.7 gigabytes. It's going to take six minutes. I've already downloaded it. So let's go straight to my download folder. And here it is the starboard windows bundle. When you double click, it should open up in Explorer or WinZip of some kind. Now this is the 9.7 version. We want the new version. Simply drag it onto your desktop. So we can close this. Here is the folder. If we double click again, I've obviously got WinRAW, but let's say you don't have that. You can right click and open with Windows Explorer. You can open it with that. And simply drag this folder onto the desktop. So what you're effectively doing is extracting it. Now it says it's going to take an hour and five minutes. That's crazy. Let's switch it off. And let's simply just right click. And I'm going to extract it here. Download WinZip or WinRAR. If I go more options, I've got 7-Zip and extract here. And just say yes to all because I was extracting it. And you can see it's a lot faster than opening it and dragging it over with a, a an Explorer file. Now, once that's done, simply double click to open it. And let's click Setup. And we want the Starboard 10. Later, if you are using a touchboard, you can do like multi-touch where you can touch the left side of the screen and the right at the same time. It's great for uh, if you've got infrared pen and check out my video on how to make an interactive board using a Wiimote and you can use two pens at the same time. But for now, all we need is the software. So we click next, next. I accept, next. Now here, I would advise you, especially if you're into maths, click the iMaths tool where it says X and click this feature and all sub features will be installed on the local hard drive. That's what you want if you're into maths. You can also click all the contents. I'm just gonna download everything, why not? Click install. Okay, now, that took quite a while, so I sped it up a little bit. Now you're going to install the maths tools. Okay, so that's finished. Now you just have to wait patiently while this item is showing to you. And you will have to restart your computer. So let's do that now. Okay, so here we are. What I want to see is the new starboard area. Now you have a choice to go with standard or starboard with function settings. Because we don't really have the actual um, machine, these machines here, labeled here, will go with standard settings. And by just holding the bottom here, you can move this thing around. So if like me, you're unlucky enough to open it in Chinese, simply go to the second item. So not this one, but this one, go to the picture of the world and change it to whatever language. There is Polish language, but I'm going for English.
So let me go back. And I'm in UK English. Now I'm happy with the settings of the menu, the size, but if you're not, you can go to the settings, preferences, and choose the size of the toolbar. So you could make it small. So if I do that, and it's a bit smaller, maybe that's better for me. So that's all for now. Let me know if you like this video, if you have any comments about how you're using it. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like, and I'll see you on the next video.